Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Candyware. Today I'll be showing you how to make this super cute Gudetama. Hey everyone! So here he is. I had so much fun making him and uh, this is a collab. I asked a Melbourne mama if she would do a collab with me and she came up with the wonderful idea of doing Gudetama. So I made a cute little um, I guess it's half resin, half polymer clay, and um, <clears throat> I'm not 100% happy with how the resin portion turned out. I don't think I let the two-part epoxy um, or silicone mold cure properly, but you'll see what I mean when you watch the video. Um, but aside from that, I'm super happy with how it turned out. It's so, so cute. You definitely need to check out uh, Melbourne Mama's video here. She's originally from Australia, but right now she's living in Canada. Woot! My country! <laughs> Anyways, um, so don't forget to check out her video. And this little guy took me about, um, not that long to tell you the truth, maybe 20 minutes. Um, more, the, the most time is just waiting for the whole thing to cure. But anyways, let's get to it. So here are all the tools and I'll leave them in the description box below. So your first step is going to be to make whatever shape you want for your egg. And then I'm using a two-part epoxy that I'm going to wrap around um, the egg yolk, or I guess I should say it's the white part, white part. And you're just going to let that dry and I just used a whole bunch of um, just scrap clay. So here I made a bean shape and I'm first going to make Gudetama's little bum. And um, to make this color I mostly just used uh, a little bit of yellow with my orange and that's just a really long snake that I made so that I can get his extremities, so his little legs. And then I'm using one of my um, tools to just make sure everything is attached to his uh, body there and this egg I or sorry this um, bacon piece I have made a previous video and like I had mentioned in the uh, opening and I'll leave that in the description box and I'll leave it at the top here also for you to view it so I'm just making sure that he's going to fit in his little egg white spot so you're just going to shape that according to what you would like to have that look like. And now we're just going to cut off two other pieces for his arms. And then I'm just rounding off the very tip so that it's a little bit more round than anything else. And now I'm just seeing if I like where I've placed the arms. I don't like them to be exactly the same, so I like to have one off from the other. And now I'm just using my little tool here to just flatten out both sides. And now we're going to be moving on to his eyes. So again, I've made a super small snake, super thin, rolling that out and everything. So we've got the two eyes down, and now I'm doing kind of like a triangle mouth shape with white. Now I'm just making sure it's about the same size that I want. And then a super super thin black snake for the outside of his mouth. And then cut off the excess. And then from there you're going to just lift it up and place it down. I ended up pulling it up a little bit to just, um, you know, pinch a little bit here, flatten out a little bit there. Just gonna keep working with it on his face, I find it's a little bit easier. So after that step, you can bake him. And that's what he looks like before he's baked. So this is the resin that I'm pouring into the mold I've made. And you're going to um, just let that sit for a little bit of time so that it can get a little tacky. Um, I will leave a link in the description box where you can find that also. And then from that point you're just going to gloss him and then put him inside the egg white and leave that overnight. And then that's what he looks like. 
Don't forget to check out Melbourne Mama's video. And thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you on the next week's video. Bye, everyone!